Here we go again with another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the best apps of the week on my Galaxy Nexus, so let's do it to it. Well, what do you know? It's the Cool Loser for show. Here on Cool Loser Tech, let's stop the show. As pretty much always with the best live wallpaper of the week, it is called VR Tunnel. Look at the background. You see things flying through, and when I pick up the phone, you will see that it actually tilts around and moves through it like if you're trying to dodge it. Nothing to the touch. Alrighty, let's get it on with the best apps of the week now, shall we? And I'll start it off with Splay. Stock launcher as always, and I'm gonna go into Splay. We got a video here playing. And this basically will explain everything that's going on. And this is what the launcher is. As you see, I don't have to do anything. It's giving you a little sneak preview. Here, how the launch is gonna work. No widgets or applications on there. This is how you have to navigate. Uh, bring it back here to leave everything. Drop it down in there. And this is where you go to your applications. You go into your apps right here. And then this is their app drawer. So you scroll upwards. A new thing that you're going to have to totally get used to. But if you try it out for yourself, you might like it and show it off for a bit and use it. But it's cool. So go do it to it. Next up, we have Messaging Metro. And you see animation pops up. You see you scrolling up. You click into it. You will see the animation pops up and it does give you that Windows type of feel. Type your message in there and say hi and then send and you obviously will get it popping up here. Go into here, you go into the settings. Into the settings you have different kind of messaging, full screen, clocks, and month and days. You can choose the theme colors, light or dark, and then the accent to be whatever color you would like to change it. But it's only for paid features. So basically what you get is what it looks like and how it's gonna work. So you're very, very limited. That's the very sad thing about it. But you do have little things here you can turn on and off. It's a very simple application to use, but it's very limited. So if you get the hang of it and you really like this type of look, then you want to get the full version. So go do it to it. Here next we have Change Log Droid. I reviewed this application a long time ago and I want to bring it back to people's attention because a lot of people don't update their applications and also the people who do update their applications don't read why they should update or why not. Here you can see updates. I got two of them from my armor for Android and I can see exactly what it is without going to my Play Store to see what kind of updates there are so I can update here. You guys will have tons of updates if you guys never updated it before. Not always are they good updates. Sometimes they're broken. Sometimes you lose a feature or they add something that you don't like so you know it's kind of a good thing to pay attention to what kind of updates they do all applications you will see here you can go through you could also like click on to here you can click on the play button and it'll launch the application you can copy you can go to the play store you can fix it you can delete it you can press this which is skip to this update so it knows that never to update this application. I don't want YouTube to ever update this application so let's do skip this update never show updates because I have the old version of YouTube. So let's keep it like that. And then you go into the blacklist. That's how quickly it is and go into here. You see the Play Store preferences update check notification so whenever there is a new update it'll tell you let you know where and when and why. You might like it now so go try it out for yourself. Next up we have desk bar launcher. You know how Windows have a status bar underneath and you tap on the start and it brings up uh, these little apps. So you see pictures, music and stuff in there you can see there. You can go to the all apps and you will be able to scroll through all your applications through here and click on them and jump to them. So you see it's hidden in the very bottom. Just click on it, it'll pop up. So it's a little shortcut. It's always there. Whichever application or game you're in, you'll be able to pop it up just like that. Going to the desk bar launcher, you can see the desk bar height, make them bigger or smaller, virtual. For root permissions, you can change a little bit more in the height to and customizing, which you can desk bar appearance if you want to do the pop, pick color, custom. You can change the whole outline of it. Like say, pick a color, do this blue, change some stuff there and let's reload and you see that it's up there already and click on it and that's the type of look to it and now I have different actions here as you saw that were enabled so those jump into more settings in there I'm not gonna go deeper into it because it's very self-explanatory when you start doing it yourself so go do it do it
Here next we have oh my God, Ubuntu. Those of you guys who know about Linux operating systems and you will see what kind of updates and new apps and games and different things that will run softwares for your Ubuntu. You know, you just basically learn and see what they have going on. I mean, once you start loading, it's it really smooth. Time waster. Here's little categories if you want news or go into gaming and say what kind of games are going to be coming out way release portal beta for Linux and then you can read more about it and just keep going on it's just a very simple application clicking on to here you see it chops up to whatever they have Ubuntu is really cool operating system you guys should really learn and check it out sometime so if you like to try this application you know what to do next up we have clock Q is a simple customizable little widget right there you see the time and there's the dates and you can click onto it now this is the preview as you see right here this premium features where you could actually go into it and you see the time make it smaller and bigger date and p.m. adjust it the weather and the battery you can adjust all that stuff if you go into the widget rotation you will be able to rotate as you see that moves the rotate around so if you want it to be slanted and sideways like that that would look kind of cool let's keep it like that you will see more stuff through here that you still can adjust and fix the colors if you want to change it the dates the weather location let's go to the clock font and you will see in the clock font there's lots of different kind of layouts of clocks that you can have in there pretty cool ones in there click it on here you see that look and all you got to do is just go back home and it's just like that. So go try it out for yourself. Next up we have minimalistic text. Now here this application you see I have three different type of widgets made. I'm going to go back into home. There's three different widgets. One, two, and three. Now as you see right here this is my battery bar. 81%, 81% as you see right there. Barcode looking there so whenever it drains it'll go down. And then you see the 3.30 p.m. and then you see the date and calendar and stuff like there. And then you got your opposite there. You can click on it. But not this one because I disabled it, but you can click on it here and it'll jump right into customizing this one. You see there's a preview, here show background, go to orientation. So if you want it to be in certain different positions, like in the left corner, things will change. You would pay attention down there, vertical text, go on the left and you will see things change through there. Scroll to the right and you see layouts, you see add rows. So there's only two rows, adding a third row. Then you can see it, it change there and go into this little plus and it's already in the added row area and you can see you can go into the dates, you can go to systems, clocks, uh, miscellaneous, weather and you'll be able to add them in there and select them and press out. And then you see if you don't want this to be in order, you can hold down on it and rearrange it to this side and you will see that the bottom is going to change up as well. You can choose different text through here. Not a lot. Widget content you can change it, but it has quite a few languages there that you can choose. And go into the tap behavior, so if you want it to, you know, work when you tap it or not, you can click on it there. And the miscellaneous, you can change the names, overflow. It's pretty cool because you can make them this way, that way, backward, change the colors. You can see it all change up. So go try that for yourself. Here next we have Tweedle, my new favorite. I like it because you'll see my mentions right away. I don't have to see the timelines. You can rearrange everything. You see, these are all my mentions and people like in my video. So I get to see, now you see the retweets of me. People are retweeting of what I tweet and do. And then if you created your own list, you can't do it through this application, but when you do have lists through other applications that like you've done it before, you can organize them. You see my Android tech, your famous people, and then you go to my peeps, and then you'll see facts, favorites, jokes, miscellaneous, shopping food, and messages here. Now going into here, we see profile, see how many tweets, how many follow information in here, and go into my, all my tweets that I've said, and my mentions, and then my list. So these are all my lists that I have that I created. You can add different accounts. If you have like 20, you can add them in here. When you get new tweets, you're going to be able to see it in your notification and then you'll have a notification that you can respond to or dismiss the tweet. Go into the settings here. Appearance, you can change it. So configure the theme. You can have it changed up. I have it all dark. Change the font size as well. And notifications. So if you go in here, you'll see they're on and which notifications they are on here. Columns and then the mentions. Instant updates only during Wi-Fi. If you tweet me right now I'll get it immediately in my notification if not on Wi-Fi then it'll update within 30 minutes or whatever for me to receive it so you can click into the people and it'll load the conversation list that you said before you can change the language you can favorite you can retweet you can reply right here take a picture now insert a picture location and then send it if you want to tweet right now just type in the message going into edit columns which means this is the area where you see I've 
created different lists. You see that you can rearrange them. So list of Android tech and famous people. If you guys would love to follow me on Twitter, it is the Cool Loser. This is one of the best ways to reach me and keep updated with if I'm gonna do a video, what's going on in life, and cool news updates. So if you like it, go try it out for yourself. And last but definitely not least, we have Tiny Tunes. This is for downloading music, previewing music before you're downloading. You can create playlists without even having to download anything. On the search section right here, you'll see new search, which you type in the artist or the song name that you would like. You can see the iTunes top song. So iTunes, the top you know sellers or downloaded songs will be searchable through here. So iTunes and releases, and you can keep going down and you see that you can go through genres right there. There's download, I haven't downloaded anything yet. Then library means that all the songs you, have, you had previously on your phone will be able to be seen through here and you can play them through here so you can use this as your own music player and then go into the playing playing is where you actually choose a song and it goes into the little playlist here so none of these are downloaded these are just played because i searched for them so i go into search let's go itunes top songs and let's do the justin timberlake one and you will see that it brings up with lots of different kind of similar type of things there and go into the mirrors you see that it checks it press play and you'll see now it's going to be in the little play section. So whenever I'm going to play any of these songs, that song will be playing as well. And you can skim through it. So if that's not the song you wanted and you change your mind, you can just go through here and delete it. Or press the download, which these are all will all download if you wanted to. But yep, that's how this application works. It's wonderful. You guys are going to love it. Thank me later. But thank me now, actually, by liking my video and sharing it. And as always, spreading the word of the Cool Loser. Thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for joining. And I shall see you guys next time for the best games of the week. Later.